Hello everyone, my name is Daryl Wilson with DX Decor Graphics and Design representing Sublimation and More Facebook group. Today I'm going to show you how to create this knockout effect by just using regular text and just any clip art image. Alright, let's get started. let's get into this. First we'll need to create our text by clicking the text tool or T on the keyboard. Clicking in the canvas and typing the text you want. I'm going to type Kentucky Wildcats. Alright. I want it to be centered. And then I want the two words to be closer together so I need to go to character and then bring this one whoop, the wrong way. and then bring this one down which in terms brings it up okay to be closer to the word above it all right then we need to bring in our clip art so I have it right here it will need to already be vectorized um, you can drag in a image from Google and use Pathfinders to, I mean not Pathfinders, but Image Trace to vectorize it. We'll go over that in another video. Alright, so I brought it in. I'm going to size it to the text. It looks about good. Let's bring it down a little bit. About right there. Now I want to center the text with the clip art by selecting them both and clicking on the horizontal align center and the vertical align center. And this aligns them both perfectly with each other. All right. First, what we need to do is click on the text, right click and create outlines. All right, now it's vectorized. And then what we need to do is copy the text just hit Control C once you have your text selected. This will copy it. And then select both of your images. Go to Pathfinders, which you can go to the toolbar over here on the right. Or you can go to Windows, Pathfinders, which is also Shift Control F9. And then what we want to do is knock out the pieces that are not together. I don't know how to explain it. We want to knock them out. So in order to do this, you go to the intersect and then hold Alt and click on it. And this will knock out everything but what the blue was overlaying or intersecting and then hit expand okay there it is so now we need to paste back in our text by holding control shift v this will paste it directly over the copied then right click and go to arrange send to back alright you're almost there now all we need to do is knock out the bottom layer from the clip art image. In order to do that, we need to select both of the layers again. Actually, no, hold on. First, we need to create our outline for the clip art by selecting the clip art image, the blue image, and then going to appearances. This will be your top color, which is the blue. We need to add a color for the underlying layer or the outline layer by clicking add new fill. Change this color so it just won't get confusing to any color. It won't matter because it will eventually be knocked out. So 
once you have the color selected, the bottom one, go to the effects panel, path, offset path, click preview, and you'll need to change this. This will vary by image, so you just have to play around with it. On this one, it will be 0 0.06 is about right. The meter is more has a more narrow or more point to it. Then you have rounded and then bevel. I usually use rounded on text, meter on images. Okay, and then you can hit OK. <coughs> so right now all you did is created an outline for the uh, clip art image layer. So now we need to separate them so we can knock out just that one layer from the back for the Kentucky Wildcats. So in order to do that, select the blue layer, blue and yellow layer, then go to Object, Expand Appearance, and what this has now done is created them on two separate layers, you have to ungroup them. So right click and ungroup, and now they're two separate two separate layers. So we just want to select the bottom yellow layer. So let's go to our layers panel. Click this right here. This little circle. It will select just that layer, not the blue, but just the yellow. And then hold shift and then click on the text layer. So now they are both selected. Then we need to knock them out by using Pathfinders. So go to Pathfinders and then hold Alt and use the minus front from the back. And that has knocked them out. So let me show you this on a non white canvas by dragging it to the gray. Maybe. So you have officially knocked them out from each other. So the only thing you need to do now is you see where the lines are still there. If you send it to the cutter right now, it will still cut those lines. So you need to make them go away by selecting the text layer and hitting expand. All right, and that has done it. So all you need to do now is send it to your cutter and layer them appropriately. Again, this is Daryl with DX Decor Graphics and Design, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.